Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. In this I want to look at the pan behind tool and we're going to see how we can use that. So here we've got a clip of uh, a scenic scene and we're going to want it only to be about four seconds long. So we'll change our composition here, make that four seconds long. All right, so now we want to introduce this hamster thing. Now you can see at the beginning here, there's a little fade in. I don't really want that. So I'm going to just set the in point here to here. So there you go, you can see no fade in and we just got to clip there. So that's good. And then we want to also have this hamster now. And this is going to be, I'm going to use this hamster to show you a few things. First thing we might want to do is sort of position this hamster in the top left hand corner, but we don't want any black bars. So we'll go to our masking tool. We'll put our dwarf hamster here. And we'll just have the the section of that we require. We'll just do it roughly for now. I might just move up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So that's the section of the mask. And you can see it's just uh, there in the middle. Okay, so the pan behind tool. So obviously this clip at the moment just runs normally. If we use the pan behind tool, what it will do is it will be able to, we'll be able to focus on a different part of the composition. So say this was a much larger composition, and we only wanted to focus on the left-hand side here. So all we do is just drag it along, and you'll see as you drag it to the right, pan behind moves to the, uh, and the layer panel goes to the left. So here you can see now we're only focusing on this particular section of the composition. Okay, now here's an example using the position keyframe. So say we already have a position motion path animated. And what we might want to do is we might want to change this. So you can see at the moment, this motion path is we're right in the center of the clip, right? Um, so if I wanted to do a pan behind, say we're going to focus more on the face here. You can see this this uh, is still in the center of the clip, but now we're not going in a straight line because we've moved it along. You know, it's at the bottom here. So conversely, it's moved up, right? So what that means, what we need to do is we then need to get these points to go up as well. So you can see here we're at 157.3. So what you could do potentially is you could just select these two points here. If you've got more points, you might need to select more than this. Edit value. And we want it to be, we don't care about the X value. We're not going to change those. We're just going to do 157.3 on the Y. And you'll see what happened. This stayed in exactly the same place. But now you can see we've got the, the, the face of the sheep and it's going. So that is something extra that you have to do and you have to be aware of when you're using the pan behind tool. So until next time, thanks for watching.